In this video, we'll show you how to add new business to a client's account. The first step is to log on to the platform and then click on the Clients tab. Search for your client by name, account number or client reference. Select the client by clicking on their name. You'll now be on the View Client page. Click the Apply top-up button to start a new application. Here, you will have the option to select the account type you want to open. Select the account and press the Add button. We'll open both the General and Pension account. In this box, you can give the account a specific name to help with managing your accounts. Under the Contribution type, you can select how the funds will be invested in the account. Select Payments if the client is making a payment directly to Nucleus. If the assets remain invested with the seeding provider without being sold down, select Re-register. If the client has sold down assets to cash with their previous provider and is transferring a monetary amount, you would select Transfer. In this situation, we're going to select Payment and Re-registration under the General account and Transfer under the Pension account. If the account is to be held jointly, add in the other account holder's name in this box. If an annual fee is being applied to any of these accounts, you would input the amount here. You can select this as a percentage or monetary amount. If the client is subject to the Money Purchase Annual Allowance, select Yes or No from the drop-down menu here. Click Next to go to the next page. All details entered on this page will also be saved once you click the Next button. We're now on the Pension Transfer screen. Click on the drop-down menu to select the seeding provider. When selected, the provider's address details should automatically populate. Here you can add the seeding account number, the transfer value and the initial fee amount. If you need to add another transfer, click the Add Another Transfer button and add the details. We're now on the re-registration screen for the general account. Again, click on the drop-down menu to select your seeding provider and their details will pre-populate. Insert the seeding account number here. Search for the assets you're re-registering by inputting the fund ISIN or fund name. We'll select two funds to add. Once you've added each of these funds, insert the number of units for each asset. Make sure you acknowledge these statements relevant to this re-registration before progressing. Please note that if the assets are held under the client's own name, we will need a completed stock transfer form. If the assets are held under a nominee name, no stock transfer forms are required. We're now on the Payment and Withdrawal screen. Under the General account, enter the amount the client is paying directly to Nucleus, then select the Payment method. You can choose from check or direct credit. You can also add a regular payment at this stage by clicking on the Add Regular Payment button and inputting the payment details. Enter the initial fee amount that will be applied to this application. Please make sure that the annual fee and initial fee amounts entered on this application match with the paperwork signed by the client. Now we've arrived at the Asset Selection page. If you have a model set up on the platform for this client, enter the model name here and click Search. This will locate and populate the model and allocation split in this section. You can input funds by typing the name here, clicking Search and selecting your funds from the list that appears. Repeat these steps until you have your full fund list added. Please note that 2% is automatically entered under the cash account as we advise 2% minimum is left for any ongoing fees and charges. Input the amount to be invested here. Repeat this process for the pension account by searching for your funds and inputting the amount to be invested. Make sure your total lump sum listed here and here adds up to 100 once all fund values have been entered. If you want to view or print the paperwork before submitting the application, click on the orange ribbon in the right hand of the screen. This will generate the completed paperwork we would need to be signed by the client. 
On this page, you have the option to add beneficiary details for the pension account, or you can send an expression of wish form at a later date. Enter the client's retirement options in these boxes. Please note, the retirement age input here is for illustration purposes only and is not binding. This can be changed via the platform at any time. Please note that the yellow banner along the top is a warning only. Please read this before you fully submit your application. Nucleus won't ask for anti-money laundering forms to be sent to us for an individual client at this stage of the application, but we will always ask you've taken steps to verify the source of funds from your end. Please confirm if the client is a politically exposed person. Then, select the verification method used. If you verified the client manually, we'll ask for the ID documents used. If you verified the client online, we'll ask which of the online providers you used. For the purpose of this video, we'll select online. Please then check the box to confirm you verified the source of funds. Before you click the submit button in the right hand corner, please ensure you tick the submit box to the upper right side of the screen for each application. You can also choose to generate an illustration or you can generate an illustration prior to the new business process. Now click the Submit button to submit the application. This is the confirmation page where you can view a summary, print a summary or print all documents. You can also print the documents from the orange ribbon here. This screen will also give you the N account reference linked to each account you've just entered. In this case, the pension and general account. The client should always quote this reference number with any payment they send to Nucleus. Print all documents here. Please also print all application summaries. Read through the documentation, making sure all the information you've keyed on is correct. Please then get the client to sign, print and date the declaration, and then send all documents and application summaries for this application to our correspondence address, as confirmed here. For new business applications, we always require the original paperwork to be sent. That completes the new business process. Thank you.